video we are going to discuss about decimal and binary number systems conversions first let's see how we shall do decimal to binary conversions in different ways later discussing how we can do binary to decimal conversion using radix waiter positional number system in decimal to binary conversion there are two methods First, let's see successive division by 2 method. When you divide given decimal number by 2 and end up with a all number and a remainder, the all number is divided by 2 until the quotient reaches to 1 or 0. Let's see simple example for converting from a decimal representation to a binary representation. We can convert the number 15 in decimal to binary so 15 by 2 is equal to 7 and its remainder is 1. Then 7 divided by 2 is 3 and its remainder is 1. Then again dividing by 3 by 2 is equal to 1 and remainder 1. Then 1 divided by 2 is 0, the remainder is 1. This will simpler for smaller decimal number but may not be so much for when the numbers are bigger. Next, let's see second method, 2 power equivalent in this method of conversion. We have to deconstruct the decimal number as the sum of powers of 2. We'll see it later on this video. Let's see an example for decimal to binary conversion. When using the repeated division by 2 method of converting from decimal to binary, one must write the first remainder as the digit of binary number. You take all the remainders, ignore the quotients and assemble them into your binary number. The first remainder is the rightmost bit and the last remainder is the leftmost bit. In this example, 81 using successive division would be to divide 81 by 2. The answer is 40 and its remainder is 1. Therefore, the rightmost bit would be 1. Then you have divide 40 by 2 and the remainder is 0. Therefore, the second digit to the right is 0. Then you have divide 20 by 2. The answer is 10 with a remainder of 0. Next, divide 10 by 2, the answer is 5 with a remainder of 0. Next, divide 5 by 2, the answer is 2 with a remainder of 1. Then, divide 2 by 2, the remainder is 0. Then, 1 by 2, you get a 1, the answer is 0 with a remainder of 1. So, this gives you 1010001. In this 2 power equivalent method for decimal to binary conversion, you should find out what powers of 2 do you need to make up given decimal number. So let's start by writing the powers of 2 here. So 2 to 0 is equal to 1, 2 to the first is equal to 2, 2 squared is equal to 4, 2 to the third is equal to 8 and so on. In this example, we can find binary number for the number 81 decimal. The highest power of 2 that will be less than 81 is 64. That means 2 to the power 6. So write down a 1 and subtract 64 from 81 to get 17. The next lower power of 2 is 32 and you cannot subtract 32 from 17. So write down a 0. The next lower power of 2 is 16 and you can subtract 16 from 17. So write down a 1. The next lower power of 2 is 8 and this is greater than 1. So write down a 0 and you cannot subtract 8 from 1. The next lower power of 2 is 4 but this is lesser than 1. So you can't subtract it from 1. So write down a 0. The next lower power of 2 is 2. And this equals to 
2. So write down a 0 and you can't subtract 2 from 1. The next lower power of 2 is 1. You can subtract 1 from 1. So write down another 1. Then answer is 1010001. You can check if this is right like this. 1 times 64 plus 0 times 32 plus 1 times 16 plus 0 times 8 plus 0 times 4 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1. That is equal to 64 plus 16 plus 1 is equal to 81. So 1010001 is the binary equivalent of 81 decimal. Using this radix weighted positional number system principle, we can convert it into any number system. A radix or base is the number of unique digits including the digit 0. Let R be the base or radix of a number system. Then the digits used in that number system are ranging from 0 to R minus 1. So total digits in that number system are R. The digit at the left has the highest positional value is called as most significant digit or MST. Like that, the digit occupying at the rightmost position has the least positional value is known as the least significant digit or LSD. In this example for binary to decimal conversion using the radix weighted positional number system equation that we discussed earlier. In this radix or base is two for binary numbers. First we need to identify R and N from the binary number. We can calculate like this 1 times 8 plus 0 times 4 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 1. That is equal to 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 11. So 1011 is the binary equivalent of 11 decimal. Total number of digits which are used in a number system is called base or radix of the system. And the weight of each position of a number is expressed as the power of base. Thank you for watching our video. Please stay tuned for upcoming digital systems design tutorials. Give your valuable comments below and share this video with your friends. Please visit our website for more educational engineering and career-oriented contents.